8K LED display in the middle and some smaller ones on both sides. Okay, here is a solution. Even if we use the most popular 4K all-in-one controllers, the system structure will be like this. There are 12 pieces 4K controllers to drive the wall, including backup, and a big video processor up front. Some of you may wonder if with so many devices, there will be too many cables to manage like this. <clears throat> and we may worry about the tearing issue. We don't want our system to have too many devices, too many cables, or compatibility issue, neither image tearing. So with our brand new screen management system, H-series, those won't bother you anymore. So now we are entering into the third generation all-in-one. We know the fine pixel page getting more popular. We find out the video processing and compatibility couldn't really meet the project's need. Focus size of screen is everywhere and can be controlled easily by Nova Star 4K Prime. However, there are a lot of screens over 4K size now in the market. As for an 8K display, clients have to use multiple devices to cascade. The operation is not so easy and the budget is also high. So we have been researching how to make the video processing and loading functions more powerful while keeping the budget in a good range for Nova Star users. This is the design concept of each series to integrate as much as possible in one device. So it's our H series family. H series is the most integrated processor with modular design. It can use 4K and 8K application easily. The whole design is extremely user-friendly. Next, let's take a look at the details one by one. To match projects better, each series comes with whole modular design. From inputs to outputs, even power supply, it is fully configurable, making it possible for clients to select inputs and outputs according to their own need. For inputs, here are the options, including the mainstream ones, like HDMI 2.0, DP 1.2, HDMI 1.3, 3G SDI, 12G SDI, and IP stream. For outputs, there are two options for LED control. One is, in the left part, you can see there is 16 RG45 plus two fiber slots, if you need fiber. And the other one, uh, which is in the right part, is 20 RG45, if you prefer having more ports and more loading capacity. And MVR card is available too. The maximum loading capacity of each series is 130 million pixels, equals to 15 pieces 4K prime. Per output card is real 4K, and you can configure the, the, the device to, to much even larger as you wish. Next, let's see the user-friendly features together. First one is free layers. The window size can be customized to any size under 8K, and you can put it anywhere in canvas. Size and position are both free. 
As for layer quantity, poor outputs card support 16 by 2K layers and four 4K layers. So the total quantity depends on how many outputs. And second one is the web page control. You don't need to install the app on PC or the configurations can be done in browser via its IP address. Left part is the video source control panel. It will, it will be showing the video source's connection status. And right part is the canvas for configuration. The operations is easy and simple. There are two helpful features. One is the input cropping to create multiple crops of the same signal. The other one is the multi-user account, which is helpful in installations by giving different access to different users. The third feature is the presets. Here you can save up to 2000 presets. The fading and fade out time can be customized from zero to one second. In addition, you will be able to monitor the inputs and outputs with MVR card. And as for fiber, there are two types of fiber boxes to work with, CVT4K and CVT10. Both supports 10G SFP module. So one SFP can handle and uh, can handle eight Ethernet ports. And CVT10 is just newly released. It's a smaller version, which will be more cost effective with 10 Ethernet ports to connect to the LED display. So this is the fiber solution to use for the long distance transmission. And each series also be, uh, will be same as 4K Prime. You can also use two H series devices and one as a controller, as a sending one, and another one can be as the, the fiber converter. Okay. So there are other features. They also have other features like Mm, low latency, sync, HDR, 3D, which you can send us questions if you are interested. And here is the selection guide of all the options. You have H2, H5, H9, and H15. The number refers to physical size of the rack. You can choose the ones use your projects from the chart. For example, like H2 means 2U and the maximum input card is four input cards. Four means uh, one input card has four, LD uh, four, four video inputs. So four by four is 16. And the maximum output cards is two. Two means you can choose like uh, one, uh, 16 LD outputs plus two fiber. So it means uh, the maximum can be 32 LD outputs, or you can choose the 20 LD outputs, uh, output card. So it means in total 40 LD outputs. And the maximum loading capacity will be like 208,000 pixels, a million pixels. Okay, so let's see some cases which we've done recently. This is one control room in South of India. And this one is a traffic monitor room in Middle East is using 1H5. And this is one showroom in China is using H5. 
nowadays, like this kind of the application is more and more popular here in China. People are using more bigger and bigger displays and to show this kind of the video content. And this is one bar in China using H2. Let's see. There, there are a lot of LED displays inside of the bar. So you have, so you, it's required to use many video inputs and to make many layouts. And H series is very suitable and easy for this kind of application. And this is one demo room in one technology cooperation using one H5. Okay, so that's about our all-in-one, new all-in-one, the third all-in-one H-series.